thank you for having us. We thank you for this day. The Lord who causes all to prosper, causes us to triumph. Always in him we come to give you praise. Yes, Lord, we've come to magnify you. Yes, Lord, we've come to bless your name. We come to give you all the praise and all the worship because your grace is sufficient for us. I want us to just lift up our voices in praise this evening. Lift up our voices and appreciate God. Lord God, who has blessed us. Lord God, who has done us well, who has done great things for us. Let us just lift up our hands, lift up our hearts, lift up our voices and let's bless him. This evening, I just want us to bless God. Ah, Lord, we give you praise, our God, who causes us always to triumph in Christ Jesus. Who have made us the praise of his glory. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we exalt you. Lord, we magnify you. You are worthy of it all, Jesus. Reketo Brahma Katata Yendanosa. Yele Braha Sakata Ibadiko Braha Seakatash Kata Bragade. Re Paka Sakazisto Brekezekle Kente. Lehele Bosa Rabakaska Prakatiaska Breketo Koluska. Ye kete kete brekede bozuka prama leka leka dosko prama de. Father, we give you praise. 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 Mighty God, we give you praise. Almighty God, we give you praise. Lord, this evening we lift up our voices to you in thanksgiving, in adoration, in appreciation. E malahu sukoto balika brakati askata barabuska reke teke breke zukata lika lashkata bragade ke debre menosa zabazasto prakasa katai barisko breke de repo koshekle kente kani baba rebo zuprakante balibos kuto breke de ika brakaze ke teke te repo kosikle kente kani boska malianda la papara basko to bragadi akati aklash kuto prakati ske breke de osa prakande repa kasa kati kalabolos ko breke de re malia bragadi azuna kashkata bragade kalibos ko breke de Reba sakatuska preke dukle yaska blaga diaka disko brende de le yende le lebosa raba katike teke preke de e katosa ntali abraga de ska plaka shuklo konte kale bosko braga de Father we give you praise Father we worship you Father we adore you Lord we exalt your name Thank you because you are God Thank you because you are God Reka brama kuto kadisko braga de Father, we lift up your name this evening. We magnify you. We adore you. We glorify you. Thank you, O God, because always we triumph, O God, because you gave us that victory. Thank you, O God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for redeeming us. Thank you, Lord, for translating us into the kingdom of your dear son. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father, we give you praise. Father, we exalt you. Father, we magnify you. Father, we adore you. Lord, we praise you. Yea, Mahato Suprakante. Lord, we are privileged to God and we are thankful. We are privileged and we are thankful. We're thankful because you're faithful. Reba Kasa Tayamane. We're thankful because you're our Father. We're thankful because, Lord, Le Malabros Tanala Koshaka Zekete, Le Hada Braga de Bosco Braga de Maseke Leke Legedeshka Prase, Rakatos. Sasta prakasikata masekete yekete kaprama lianda la badushu prakadeska lehele boza prama deke brigade eke ke bebe boza rapa sikete masaka zonto lo breke zekle kente kalibaba reketo kopro kozi kete kadi brama le kabraga de rekete ke brigade boza rakazoto sa prakashikla kante tele gede 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 bo raba sukata e papa eke leke londo supra kante balabodosh kabraga de eka te kabraga zikete rebodo zukla kante kalibra mal. Lasko to brigade re bakazi kekete ka brazi kete la ando lambra gade bosa leke de gade bosa raba kashi kete na re brakazuka tosto brigade re keto koto bremenesh ka brakalaba. Now thanks be unto God, which always caused us to triumph in Christ Jesus. I make it manifest the savour of His knowledge. 
by us in every place. Reke braka saka tali bapa le here kesa braka zaka toshko braka segete le braka saka taima le de brano dosa. Lord, we give you praise. 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 Thanks be unto you, Lord. 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 In the name of Jesus. Le kato brama kasata. Eke to konto pleke so la dashka prakate na hato so prakatisko prakasekete. Now thanks be unto you, Lord. 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 Our Father and our Lord wanna give you thanks. 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 Reba kasaka zusto brigade in katala bosco prakade yele bosco prakan teka dishko brigade. Father, we give you praise. Lord, we exalt you. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' precious name, we are prayed. You know, this morning, um, while I was reading Ephesians, you know, I read Ephesians 1, and I looked at it again and again and again and again. You know, and, and, and when I was reading it, I was so, 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 so excited. You know, the way we train ourselves is the way we will enjoy God. If you train yourself to joy in the word of the Lord, things, no matter how pressing they are, you just find yourself rejoicing, knowing that this is God's word. You can appropriate it to yourself. You know, he said here, from Ephesians um, chapter 1, from verse 3, he says, Blessed be God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who had blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. According as he had chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestined us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself. <laughs> according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of the glory of his grace, wherein he had accepted, wherein he had made us accepted in the beloved. It is enough for any child of God to wake up in the morning and just be jumping. I was just so excited. I was just so excited. There was a day about three or four days ago. You know, that scripture popped up in my heart. I was on my bed. He had blessed me with those rich blessings in heavenly places in Christ. I was just saying it on my bed. Saying it, saying it, saying it. You know, the spirit now said, so you are happy. So if you are happy, it's on the bed that you'll be happy, Abby. You know, I just got up. <laughs> I went out and I was just dancing. I said, God, you know, when you see, when we begin to take the word of God as it is, no matter what we face, there's this peace, there's this joy. People are like, in the midst of this, you are still joying. And now, because it's the word of God that stands. It's the word of God that holds my life together. I just need us to appreciate God this evening for the fact that he had blessed us. The Bible says he had blessed us. He had blessed us. He had blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. He has blessed us. He has predestined this even before we were born. You know, it's so amazing. God is a good God. Yeah, Masakataibosa. Having predestined us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ Himself, Jesus brought us home. Jesus brought us to the Father. You know the Bible says in the book of Ephesians chapter two. He was saying that He had made us alive. He had made us alive. Ah, the verse three says, um, "What does it say, no?" Um, no, it's the first, verse 6. It's, uh, he had raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. I just want us to just appreciate God this evening. You know, when you would think of all these people like, you are just reading. No, I'm not reading. God has spoken to my heart. That is the word of God to me. That is the word of God to my situation. That don't see yourself as, ah, I'm so broke. There's no money in my account. Oh, I don't even know how to go about it. Eh, eh. God is saying, I have blessed you with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. I have blessed you. I have blessed you. 
You only need to appropriate it to yourself. Believe that word, I am blessed. And you begin to speak it and you begin to declare it. Before you know what's happening, things that happen. I am blessed in heavenly places. I am blessed with the spiritual blessings. I am blessed in the work of my hands. I am blessed in my womb. I am blessed in my business. I am blessed in my career. You know, when we begin to say those things to ourselves, before we know what's happening, things are beginning to happen. Why? Because it will come to us because that is the word of God. He said, I have blessed you. It's not that I will bless you. No, God is not I will. He has done it in Christ Jesus. So I need us just to appreciate him this evening. We don't understand and say, Lord, I'm grateful. I'm grateful that I've been blessed. I and the works of my hands, I'm blessed. In everything I do, I'm blessed. In my health, I am blessed. Lord, I am blessed. I will not lack anything because I'm blessed. This stone church, I, would, I will not lack anything because we are blessed. As a people, we are blessed. As individuals, we are blessed. As a church, a member of the body of Christ. Christ is our head. We are the members. We are the body. Hey! Yeha kozo patasho radusa. Zenesto preke te kalisto praka diando. Alido la losko braga deke brege de boska. Let somebody rejoice this, in this house of Sidina. Let somebody celebrate God in this house of Sidina. Of God, the faithfulness of God, yeah, Mahasuto Prakasa Tayadosa, Elien de la Bosu Pranta la Boska Bragade, He Kaka Bosa Pata. He has made us alive in Him. The works of our hands have been made alive in Him. Our careers have been made alive in Him. Our health is made alive in Him. Ah, my auto so topalisco Bragate, Eke Keko Rambo Zeto Toscataya. Father, we give you praise this evening. <laughs> Hey, Lord, we give you praise this evening. The God who had redeemed us. Who has adopted us. Adopted us. And accepted us into the beloved. <laughs> yeah, you can do. <laughs> yeah, glory. In Cambrega de Bobozi, Catusco de Brega de Bob. The Bible says, having predestined us unto the adoption of children by Jesus to himself, by Jesus Christ to himself, he adopted us unto himself in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. According to the good pleasure of his will. Lord, we are privileged. We've come to say thank you, Lord. To the praise of the glory of his grace. Wherewith he had made us accepted in the beloved. That is soothing to my soul. That gives joy to my soul. So when your soul is downcast and the enemy is trying to make you see things going on around you, just tell the devil, look at me very well, very, very well. I have been accepted in the beloved by Christ Jesus. Ah, Kazute yende la boska pragade. Ah, Jesus brought me in. Ah, mahato zikata. And the Father adopted me. Yeah, matuso prakadeshke de bosa. Father, we just want to thank you this evening. Father, we just want to thank you this evening. Father, we are grateful because we know that we are privileged. We are grateful because we know that we are privileged. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we give you praise. Father, we adore you. Father, we magnify you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Leke toka brano no sotolo shkoto bregede. Inka toka libra malo zoto bregede oska prakati. Leyele kosto lo shkoto bregede bo zukura mamade bo. Father, we lift up your name. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Ah, Lord, we thank you. I, I want us to read from the book of um, First Timothy, chapter of our nation, Nigeria. The Bible says, I got there for the first of all supplications, prayers, intercessions, and given be made for all men, for kings, and for all that are in authority, that we may live a quiet and peaceful life in all godliness and honesty. For this is good and acceptable. The light of God, our Savior, who will have all knowledge of truth. 
want us this evening to lift up. I want us to, first of all, I appreciate God for Nigeria. You know, some nations did not go through what we have go through. They are under this nation. Some people will say they are too religious. Hmm. Hey, we know what we what, what we what can keep us. That's why we are religious. And we are not religious. We just know that we have a God who will not leave us. We just know that we have a God. We have assurance in our God. You know, and that's why we'll keep praying. Somebody will say, ah, you're not doing it. Just pray. Yes, that is what we can do. If you cannot get there, you pray for them. You pray for them. You intercede. You ask God because you have a father. He is our father. We can ask him to help us. So this is, I just want us to thank God and say, Lord, Father, we thank you for how far you have kept us in this nation. I want to give you praise for how far you have kept us in this nation. How far you have been our God in this nation. You have been our source. You have been our shield. You have been our protection. You have been our advocate. You know, you've been the voice of Nigeria. Speaking for Nigeria. You know, so many nations have gathered even to, even, even to, even to, even to do all sort of things against our nation. But Lord keeps fighting for us. Ah, Maloso, Praka, Sakatai, Bababoshka. We give you praise this evening, Lord. Over Nigeria, over this nation, Lord, we thank you. Over the peace in this nation, we thank you. That we can gather in fellowships, over in homes, in churches, in, in venues to praise you is a privilege. Some people aren't as privileged as we are. We appreciate that. That fact. We're not taking that fact for granted, Lord. We give you all the praise that we can gather, that we can come into your presence. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for how far you have helped us in this nation. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for how far you have kept this nation, for being the strength, oh God, of every child of yours, for being our source. For being our source, for being our source, for being our source, for being our source, ah, Jehovah, ah, that your children don't go hungry. Ah, the habra ho sakata ya madeha. Ehe ko sekete ye manuzo prakate. Ya ya kata kata. God for being a salsa. I kakasu chaya baba. Even when it was so tough out there. You were still and is still our salsa. You kept us. You made ways for us. You did so many things. You opened us. You raised help. You became a voice. You strengthened us. You upheld us. Jesus, thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we say thank you. Ah, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father, thank you. I want us to just begin to thank God for our leaders. I want to thank God for our leaders. Some people will say, eh, are you sure eh, you, you chose the right president? Are you sure you chose the right eh, eh, governing body? Are you sure? Are you sure? Whether we are sure or not is not even important. The important fact that God put them there. And they are the ones in authority. If God does not allow anything, it can't happen. He orchestrated it and made it possible. That's his will. And we submit to his will. For the Bible says we should pray for our leaders, those in authority. We have to submit to them. We have to obey them. He has put them there. I just want us to just thank God for our leaders. Thank you. We give you praise, our leaders. We thank you because, Lord, you put them there for a purpose. Thank you for your spirit upon them. Thank you because you guide them. Thank you because you lead them. Thank you because you instruct them. Thank you because you teach them. Thank you because they know what to do. Thank you because they are not confused. Thank you because they will not put their hands to evil. Thank you, oh God, because you will guide them. Everything they need to put a stop to, Lord God, Almighty, you will inspire them. They will know how to do it. Everything they need to encourage in the land, oh God, to make progress come upon the land. Lord, you will teach them. They will, they will, they will, they will pursue such. Holy Spirit, you are the great teacher. Holy Spirit, we ask that you teach them. Lord, we ask that you will teach them. That our leaders will be taught of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Kaparus, kapate, keso, tayaba. Above all, we ask for their souls. The Lord God, he will send these ones laborers in the name of Jesus. That you will send these ones laborers. Rasoda Pashka Tayakosa. Eleketo Lito Bramala Shkoto Palika Brado Rosa. The Yende Rebozo Praka Shasolan Dolusco Bragade. Reketeka Braka Zika Tekalisha Topradisa. 
Yendele la bosa rika bragadusa zendele bosa zekete katuka bragadusa. Lord, He will save these ones because that's your desire that all men will come to the knowledge of the truth. Our leaders will yield them to you, Lord. Kapano se praka zekete kalish kubragade. Ekeke kabadu za pasusto preke suklakante kaliboros kubragade. Re malia barako zeketu sho prakatis kubragade sa. Ele kete kapaka dus kubragade sa. Ele yandele bosu prakante balika bragadu shikada boska. In this land, honesty reigns. In this land, godliness reigns. In the name of Jesus. Reke braka sukata. The fear of the Lord brews over this land. Reke mbradosa. Ezeleke tok braka zike teka braka. See, everyone in authority will fear God. The fear of God will come upon them. Bible says when you fear God, you will hate evil. Our leaders will hate evil because they fear God. In the name of Jesus. We put a stop to kidnapping in this land. We decree it, we declare it. Our borders are safe in the name of Jesus. That he will thank you, Lord. As we intercede for our nation, thank you because it's done. Father, we give you all the praise. We exalt you, Lord. In Jesus' precious name. I want us to pray for, we're praying for the convention tonight. We're praying for the convention. We're praying for, we're praying for the souls of men. You know, like Anna went to Shiloh. People have been going to, at least Ibadan, it's over 30 years now, right? People have been going to Ibadan for 30 years. And they still don't have some of the things that they ask God for. Bible says times you don't get because we ask amiss. You know, maybe their focus is different, you know? At times, you know, when we go to certain places, the excitement at times, the, you know, the euphoria of the everything, we, we tend to, they are forgets. Some of the things that we learn and we should put to use and all that. But this year, we call it dunamis. It means power. Power made available. With the understanding that we all have as God's children this evening. I want us to pray for everyone in dunamis this year. I want us to pray Ephesians 1. From verse 15. It says, wherefore I also, after I heard of your faith in the Lord, faith in the Lord has made people go to Ibadan and love unto all the saints, fellowshipping together. Cease not to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers. This evening, I want us to thank God for everyone that has gone to Ibadan and will still go, everyone that has proposed to go, Anybody. I want us to just pray for everyone that will, that, will, that will attend between now and Sunday. I want us to just thank God for every one of them. They are going because of faith in God. They are going because they love the brethren. I want us to just thank God for them. And say, Lord, thank you for everyone that, 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 that at this convention. Every single soul. We want to thank you. We want to thank you, O oh God, for every single soul, O oh God, in this convention. We want to thank you. 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 We want to thank you for them. We want to thank you, O oh God, because they want to fellowship more with you. We want to thank you, O oh Lord, because of the faith that they have that it made them go. Because they know that they will be transformed. They are expectant. They go. They went because of expectations. The Lord God, in the name of Jesus, the expectations will not be cut short. The Lord God will thank you for them, O oh God, because they have gone because they are expectant. Thank you for them, Lord. We appreciate you because of the privilege you have given everyone we give you all the praise in jesus precious name we have prayed we have thanked god for them we're not going to pray for them that the god of our lord jesus christ the father of glory we give unto everyone in the name of jesus the spirit of revelation in the knowledge of him the eyes of their understanding being enlightened that they will know what is the hope of their calling? What is the riches of the glory of the inheritance of God in them? And they will also know what is the exceeding greatness of the power of God towards us. The power that raised Christ from the dead towards us who believe according to the working of his mighty power. 
which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand. Far above principalities and powers. His own right hand in the heavenly places. Far above principalities and power. When a child of God understands the fact that he is seated at the right hand of God in heavenly places, far above principalities and powers, then we can take charge. That revelation, we're going to pray for everyone. That men will get into that understanding. That men's faith will open them up to hear, to understand what God has been said. They will not just go, I went for money session. I went for evening session. What did you learn? Eh, well, it was powerful. What did you learn? Ah, it was glorious. Eh, eh, what have you picked from there? It's powerful. No, men will leave Ibadan with an understanding that would take them to beautiful destination that God has prepared for them. In the name of Jesus. There will be an opening of the eyes. There will be an enlightening of the heart for everyone in the name of Jesus. No one will go back the same way. There will be a transformation. There will be a renewing in the name of Jesus. For everyone at Ibado, for everyone at the convention, both young and old, both male and female, the eyes of our understanding will be enlightened in the name of Jesus. You will touch every heart, you will move in every heart. Everyone will experience the power of God in the name of Jesus. There will be a visitation, a tangibility of the manifestation of God's power in the life of everyone. Our eyes will be enlightened. Our eyes will be opened in the name of Jesus. No one will be the same again. An enlightenment, oh God. An enlightenment, oh God.
Paliaka rebo dosi kapra kasiket le ele bosu prakansa katari palika bragare rebo dosi susu prakate ekete kete ye de bosa rapa pa 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 reketo katisko regere that everyone would understand oh God what is the exceeding greatness of His power to us who believe according to the working of His mighty power which He wrought in Christ when He raised Him from the dead and set Him at His own right hand in the heavenly places far off hallelujah our principalities and powers and might and dominion and every name that is named not only in this world but also in that which is to come and I put all things under his feet hallelujah and gave him to be head over all things for the church which is his body the fullness of him that filleth all in all in the name of Jesus that everyone will have understanding of where they are of who they are Rakato Brakasa Taya Baba Ba Reketo Kosi Tanindo Do Blande Le Bosca Ba Rekete Kaye Le Bosa Rebo Kose Kete Ye Baba Inkanto Kazi Katali Bolos Kuprege Rima Mama Mama Nusko Bagade Rekete Kabraka Suso Prakate Leke Le Kosko Bagade Manozu Prakante Ba Enkete Kebrege Le Bobosa Rapa Kashi Kataye Baba Like Never Before In The Name Of Jesus The Power Of God Be Made Manifest like never before, the glory of God will be revealed. Reke bramo to braka sata eke to kumbrege de bosa masata ya baba. There will be a rest for the Lord. Iko brama konsi tapa ipa. None will go back, oh God. The same way they have come, a refreshment will come upon every soul in the name of Jesus. An enlightenment will come upon every heart in the name of Jesus. Makato zato bragade eke ye baba baba ba eke to zuto zuto. In your presence, you've got the fullness of joy. Kaatoshko praka sike teke libosko prano nosa. Ila hondo zukum brege de bosso katai papa. Father, we give you praise. Because lives of men and women are transformed. We exalt you. In the name of Jesus. I want us to pray for every minister. Ephesians 6, 19. He says, I'm for me, that all trans may be given unto me. That I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. You know, we have prepared the hearts of the people. The hearts of the people are open already. We're going to pray for every minister, every minister that as they open their mouth, they will make known boldly the mystery of the gospel. They will speak the counsel of God for the hour. No one will go, will speak with their own understanding. They will wait on God to hear God. They will speak God's desire. They will speak the heart of God. They will speak the heart of God. They will speak the heart of God. That's what can make a change. Men will understand. We'll pray for the people. But the speaker will speak the heart of God. The speaker will speak life to the people. The spirit of boldness comes upon them to declare the counsel of God. They will not say I prepared. Holy Spirit, they will yield to the Holy Ghost. Every minister will yield to the Holy Spirit. And he, they will speak at, on, only under the unction of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. They will not be self. Only Jesus will be lifted up. Through the mouth of every speaker. There's nothing about self. It's going to be about Jesus. As they open their mouth, they speak Jesus. E kakako zato prata shato le kete kebre me kato sita e le kete koprato sita tali kados kebre gere ye libra ma as they open their mouth they speak Jesus re katu zopra katash kada ya e li kote se ne keso lo brados kaba la katsa la do dos kapa tai na nosa as they open their mouth they speak Jesus re kete kakote so tota di kaba and na li kopa kade ya they speak Jesus re kete kobarusa. In Satala Paluska Bregadeska, when you know Jesus, when they speak Jesus, people will see Jesus. Kaatola do Shakata Ibaruska, in the Lahusa Katai Manoso Prakate, Ye Kabrazuta Pato Shikapata, Precious Holy Spring Lahuska Prakatisa. Ika Brahma Nosko Praka Zikle Konte Kaliboshko Prakate Equip this once yet again That's our desire Kakato Zoto Prekete Akasata Every minister speaks Jesus only Malek Kambraga Dabos We don't want to hear stories 
want to hear Jesus. want to see Jesus through every minister. In every minister. want to see Jesus. In this convention, Lord, we want to see Jesus. Jesus lifted high. Jesus, you are the one we want to see, Lord. In our assemblies, in our meetings, we want to see only Jesus. Nothing about self, Lord. Jesus be lifted up. In this convention, Lord, it's all about Jesus. As the choir minister, it's Jesus. As the announcement is said, it's Jesus. As the word comes forth, it's Jesus. As prayer is left, it's Jesus. Jesus, kopato sapari aloshka. Yelendele de boza branga de galiboshko bragade. Eleke toko pamotisu prakatisa. Let Jesus be lifted up yet again. Eka kabra manozo zosto prekete. Enke toko toko de bozo prakatika bragade. Jesus kote posa prakate. E dele molosko prakate. Jesus will desire that you be lifted up, O God. Inka bragade in this 2024 dunamisa. Our desire is that Jesus will be seen. Anka yamale Abraham de bosa. Jesus will be seen. Male karako soto pashata. Jesus, 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 it's not going to affect anyone. They are going to speak Jesus. We are going to hear Jesus. But on site and online, we're going to hear Jesus. We're going to hear Jesus. We're going to hear Jesus. That's what we're going to hear. That's what we're going to see Jesus. Jesus be made manifest. Real Jesus. Jesus. Father, we give you praise because you are lifted up. In our midst this evening, we want to see Jesus likewise. Jesus, we want to see you this evening, Lord. We've not come to seek any man. <laughs> no, Lord. Hey, we've come to see you alone and we yield ourselves to you. I just want us to yield ourselves to him and say, Lord, I've come to see you. I'm not moved by numbers. Mm -mm. I'm only moved, oh God, by you, Jesus. This evening, we yield ourselves to you. The Lord, he will speak to us. You will fellowship with us, Lord. In our midst this evening, all we want to see is Jesus. All we want to hear is Jesus. Reka braka si kato kembrede ye keto koronto bari kabragadi zakata e kete kembragade bo shikaba. We want to see Jesus. We want to hear Jesus. Maroba hoso kata ye ye libra hasakata i pali kubrano noska. Jesus ka iko brados kapa. Be lifted up in the midst of us this evening. Le ele bojo kam bragade bos kaba. Be lifted up in the midst of us this evening, Jesus. Re keto ko probo disco brege de kosha. Ze ilo bojo susto prakatika bragade. Jesus, Jesus. Ye hand to bragade ke dis kaba. That's all we want to see. That's all we want to say. That's all we desire this evening, Jesus. Jesus. Re kete ka upon every heart this evening Jesus upon us this evening Jesus in the midst of us Jesus round about us Jesus Jesus it's not about it it's Jesus it's Jesus it's Jesus That's our deal. 
Brigade. Be lifted up in the midst of us. Be lifted up in the Yes, Lord, be lifted up in the midst of us. Lift up. Lift up Jesus. We lift up Jesus. We lift up Jesus. We lift up Jesus. We lift up Jesus. Lift you up, Jesus. We lift you up, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father, we give you praise. Thank you for the privilege. Thank you, faithful God. We are grateful. Father, we Man, thank you, Jesus. A mode of worship. In the name of the Lord. Praise is worthy of our worship. Who is like you? There is no like you. There is no like you. There is no that will reverence you. This name, we worship you. belongs to Jesus. Father, we exalt you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. No man, oh no. We so glory. Lord, 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 No man or man should give If you really believe that all the glory belongs to Jesus, I want you to sing that song from the bottom of your heart. He may not deserve every of our worship, every of our glory, as in all the glory belongs to Him. There is no man or nerd should give glory unto Himself, but unto our Savior, to our Redeemer. Or to our sustainer, or to our provider, oh, he may Lord deserve all the glory. He may Lord deserve every of our worship. 
All glory belongs to Jesus. But in heaven and on the heart, all glory belongs to Jesus. All the glory, Lord. Voilà. 
everlasting to everlasting we will praise you from everlasting Oh, 
Oluwa to shise we have come to say baba o he she we have come to, we have come to say baba o Hey, I have come to say, I have come to, I have say, come to say, Baba, Baba, oh, hey, hey. I have come, I have come to say, Baba, oh, for the life you gave to me. Have come to say thank you for your son Jesus Christ who died on the cross. I have come to say, Baba, oh, oh, shame. I have come to say, baby, we have come to say. Baba o eshe we have come we have come to say baba o hesh eh i have come to say i have i have come to say baba o eshe I have come, I have come to say, Baba, oh, yes. from east to west, and no other God, from north to south, has said there is no, there is no other goal from me to where oh from north to south from north to south i said there is no there is no other goal from me to Hey, from east to west, no war that go from north to south, from north to south. I said there is no, I said there is no other God from east to, hey, from east to west, no war that go, no war that go. From north to south, I said there is no. I've come to know that from generation to generation, ever since they that have, that have born into this world, it has been only one God. There is no any other God. There is no any other God that you know can I know that can represent that God you know, as the God Almighty, the ones that created the universe with let that be. He is as it is him alone that you know you, you know you know that has been to existence and it's him that will still continue to be. That is why I say from east to west, from north to south, there is no any other God except him. I from east to west and no other God from north to south. I said there is no from east to west, no other God from north to south. I say there is no other God from east to west, from east to west. There is no other God. No other is I am that I am from your two sides. I say there is no other God. For in Jesus' name we have worship. Father, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, for today. Lord, we bless your name. 
Lord, we thank you, Jesus, for your grace and your mercy over us. Lord, we thank you for your faithfulness over us. Lord, we are here today once again to hear your word. Father, we thank you. Jesus, we pray that you give us a hearing ear in the name of Jesus. You give us a seeing eye in the name of Jesus. That we perceive your word. That your word be transformed in us in the name of Jesus. Lord, even for as many that I abandon, Lord, we ask, O oh God, that even as they prepare for tomorrow, Lord, we ask, O oh God, that you prepare their hearts in the name of Jesus. That we receive an encounter from the Lord Jesus in the name of Jesus. For thank you, Father. Lord, give me an unction in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask for your grace that even as I speak unto our people, Lord, that, Lord, we don't speak from the flesh in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. May we have our seats in the Lord's presence. It's another privilege to be here tonight. It's truly an honor. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Yeah, um, we'll be, we'll be as, as a normal tradition, it's Bible study, so um, we're going to be very interactive. And also, yeah, yeah, there's a very delicate scripture that has been pondering my heart, and um, I would also share it with us today. Um, it's from the book of Psalms, Psalm 17. Psalm 17, verse 14 to 15. It says, For men from which are their hand, O Lord, for men of the world, who have their portion in this life, and whose belly thou fillest with thy eat treasure, they are full of children, and leave the rest of their substance to their babes. Verse 15 is my point of emphasis. As for me, I will behold thy face in righteousness. I shall be satisfied when I awake with thy likeness. Praise the Lord. Say, as for me, I will behold thy face in righteousness. I shall be satisfied when I awake with thy likeness. No, David is a man that. God really took note of. You know, from the youth to his old age, he was such a man that maintained a certain posture that even God looked upon him and, you know, he, from a generation, from his generation, from his loins, God, Jesus had to come from that generation. Because of certain traits, certain posture that he, he was able to maintain, he's standing with God. You hear in other scriptures where he says, uh, as the day pants for what? for the box so my soul will pant for thee it was a man that loved jesus it was a man that loved god it was a man that at all times always what seek out to god now david comes in now he's saying as for me he does not know for anybody he said as for me i will behold that face you know that it was a man that loved god it was a man seek fellowship with god that his life what depends on it Say, I will what? I will build that face in what? In righteousness. I don't know what comes to you when you see that scripture. It seems very, very personal. He says, As for me. It's just like the word of Joshua. He says, As for me and my family, I what? I will serve the Lord. It seems very, very personal. He says, As for me, I will build that face in righteousness. Now you see that in the next verse, said, I shall be satisfied. So he's telling us that. There is, it draws satisfaction from somewhere. Praise the Lord. I want, I want to hear from, from the people of God. Please, I don't know. If, if when you hear that scripture, as for me, what comes to your mind? I will build that face in righteousness. I don't know. If, do you have any inputs? Anybody has um, any contribution to this scripture before we begin? Pastor Dele, do you have any um, contribution to this? Hallelujah. First and foremost, I think, um, off the top of my head, it's a personal decision as for me. That is, no matter what anybody is doing or decides to do, 
irrespective of whatever may be happening around me. As for me, I choose to seek after God, to behold his face in righteousness. Um, I shall be satisfied when I awake in your likeness. So, primarily, for me, I think it's a decision, a personal decision to seek after God, to lead a righteous life. Then two, um, I think it's a conviction that when I die, I will see God. I will live in eternity with God based on the kind of life I have decided to live while here on earth. Mm -hmm. So it's a personal decision to live righteously, to seek after God, and two, a conviction that when the life here is over, I will be with God. Mm -hmm. Praise, Praise God. the Lord. That's a very insightful piece. Do, do, I, do you have any contribution? Pastor Dion, do you have any? Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. So he said, as for me, I will see your face in righteousness. Um, when I look at that word, I will, it speaks to me that it is an act of his will. And what do I mean by that? There are many things that battle for our will. There are many things that seek for the attention of our will. But you see, he's saying that despite all the things that battle for a man's will or that can battle for his own will, he has decided, he has made a strong, irreversible decision to seek the face of the Lord. Don't forget that it was the same psalmist that said, I will bless the Lord at all times and that his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Meaning that as an act of my will is an intelligent decision I'm making. It's a rational decision I'm making. It's the same word that Paul used when he said that we should present our bodies as a living sacrifice. Yes. So it's rational. I've thought about it. I have looked at the pros and the cons. And I've decided as an act of my will, nobody forcing me to seek the face of the Lord. Wow. Praise the Lord. Uh, our pastor, our pastor needs to talk. We, we need to hear our pastor's contribution. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, I am. Um, I think it's a psalm that um, I'm not very used to, really. Maybe at least that latter part. But one thing I also notice is that um, is nobody will start a statement like that. As for me, yes. there must be a reason. There must be something that they are saying that is making it talk from. That others may be going this direction, but as for me, I'm going in the other direction. And um, that statement alone is a decisive statement. Okay. It's a statement that um, every one of us must um, look deep into our heart and make a detour. For example, others may be stealing, but as for me, others may not be. Uh, a lover of God, but as for me, others may decide not to have eternity in view, but as for me. So it's actually a turning point, looking away from other things. It's just like the scriptures that says, look away unto Jesus. You are looking away from other things unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. And then uh, I just look at a little, I read a little to the preceding scriptures. And uh, one of the things that really came to my mind in verse 14 was the fact that um, I guess the psalmist was looking at what people look at about riches of life and things that satisfy his belly. And how people amass wealth, you know, to keep for their children. But he's saying, look, as for me, with all of these things, I will behold the face I will behold thy face in righteousness, and I will uh, and and be satisfied when I awake. Will thy uh, with thy likeness? So, it is important here that um, we can't look at God anyhow. Yes. We must look at God with a righteous face, and our righteousness is of Christ. So, it is very very important for us to look at God the Father. Through the eye of our master, Jesus. So that we can have satisfaction. And then we can awake in Christ likeness. Praise the name of Hallelujah. the Lord. Now, 
if you notice one thing, there's a very common point that they have made is that it's a personal decision. Praise the Lord. It's a personal what, decision. Now, one thing that it, it's that I've noticed over time is that the context of a spirit of a of a Christian, the, the prayer context, the context of the prayer of a Christian will determine how much more he has invested in God. You notice now you come in. He says, as for me, there's another of priority that David has placed before God in prayer. If you have read the book of Psalms very well, you notice those patterns. It has always been God. It has always been what? God. You notice that David, like every other king, he was such a he was a priest and a king. No ever king has, has become a priest. Oh God. He say of the Lord and say okay have that rich fellowship with God the context of David's prayer determine how how much more he has covenant with God let me let me hear it now in the order of but in the kingdom of God, this um so that of that brings to what be shown what on earth that's a pattern David here says one thing and now in, 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 in the foundation God came he said let us be man in our what in our own image and what and like David what are we is he said he said, I'll, um, I'll be your face. Good God face. As topic today. Your face. Praise the Lord. That the only thing he knows is that God could praise the Lord. We need to check the context of David. Praise the Lord. Let us go to Psalms 4. It says, Hear me when I call. O oh God of my righteousness, thou art enlarged me when I was in distress. Have mercy upon me, I hear prayers. Verse 2. He says, O oh, ye sons of men, how long, how long, Say not commune with your own heart of righteousness, of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. There be many that says, Who does any good? In peace and sleep. For the Lord only make it the 
place where, oh, I was in this church. Lord, have mercy upon me. There was a point of, there was a, there was a pattern. Any that says, who will show us any good? Now we're talking about building. And when you build something, you are looking upon what? Something. It's, it, deals with it deals with light. When you are building Now, this is intentionality. This is not, um, I'm out to put spoon food God to your mouth. I'm not. Yes, I'm not As for me, What is the light of the continent that will be shining upon me? What effect does it have? When you say continents, what does it mean? What, what, I, I, I don't know English, but what does continents mean? And what does it mean? does it relate with building? Praise the Lord. Please, um, what does continents mean? And how does it, can you correlate it with building? Why does David have to say, they let the light of their continents be shown upon us. Praise God. Please, anybody. Mommy say, do you have any any sisters? You can give it to her. You can give it to her. Praise the Lord. Countenance is um Beholding, countenance, the expression, the seeing the person, looking at the person intently, countenance, spreading. When you when, like when you are building God, the countenance of God, the glory of God, the the aura of God, the power of God, mm. everything just. That if I want to talk. Please. Please give it to him. He has said it all. Continence is a beholding. That the face of God be shine upon you. That God will behold you. In anything you are doing, that you are, you are, when you kneel down to pray, that the Lord's face be shown on you. So that there will be an attraction. Okay, good. So there will be, a, what, there will be an attraction. Praise the Lord. Please, Pastor, let us talk. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm looking at the dictionary... Um, definition of countenance it is appearance okay good especially the features and expression of the face mm. that's one definition okay. definition two it is favor favor support support encouragement encouragement All right so i think those two suffice for our discussion um, countenance is our appearance, mm. our facial expression. If they take light now and this place becomes dark, you may not be able to see my countenance. Yes. But when they bring light and we say, up Nepa, everybody's countenance is cheerful and joyful. Yeah. There is a smile on our faces. So for me, Observing. It affects whatever you build affects your countenance. The 
an accident. That expression becomes I don't want to use the word sorrowful. It shows on my face. A lot of times they are already dead. They are decayed. pictures and making videos and sending, I mean, when I see, when I'm reading in my Bible and be deliberate what we see, what we Things that would make us joyful, that would make us want to be like Jesus Christ, to think like him, talk like him, live like him. Those are the things we should focus upon because they ultimately affect our countenance. They affect our spirit man. They affect the way we live and ultimately where we will end up. Praise the Lord. That's so wonderful. Okay, Pastor, Pastor Dai wants to talk. It's just to take off from where Pastor Daly ended. As he was speaking, this was what was going on in my spirit, actually, that he said that as we behold, it affects our countenance. But I also want to add also that as we behold God, it affects his own countenance. You see, countenance is facial expression. The facial expression of someone. I know we always say this thing that, eh, I was, I was even walking past him and he didn't even countenance me. He didn't approve or acknowledge my being around. So when the Lord sees that there are people who are also hungry for him, and there are people who want to behold him to seek his face, then his own expression towards us changes. He becomes glad. He also reaches out to us. As we draw near to him, he draws near to us too. And I think that's why, was it Moses that said, maybe was it Numbers 24 or 26, I can't remember now, remember now he said that um, the prayers that the high priest will bless he said, may the Lord bless you and keep you. Yes. May he cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance over you and grant you peace. Yes. So it doesn't only affect our countenance, it also affects the countenance of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Pastor, let's stop. I, 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 um, the ex some few examples just came to my mind. Number one was Abel and Cain. You know, when offer sacrifice to the Lord, and the Lord had respect for Abel's offering, and the name Cain was angry, and the Lord told him, "If you had done well, he said, why is thy countenance for?" He said, "Why, why are you looking this way? If you have done well, even God saw, He didn't see anything, no. but right from His countenance, He was already planning a murder. You know, you just look at somebody. You know, <laughs> thank God for mommy." Uh, Stashe, you will always tell tell us about Abara Yabiola. Uh, yeah, yeah, Some people with the look of Yabiola, the moment you see the you know, the same thing. Um, and sometimes, you know, you may you may be in this church. Your countenance is not carrying this church. You are here, but your Maya. He was in the palace, but his countenance was in his father's house. The wall of Jericho at Jerusalem had fallen to the level that the king saw it and said, ah, ah, ah. Why is your countenance falling? And then you have never looked like this. Based on the With God, the more we have our countenance changed. When couples stay together, 